Hello, and welcome to NAM Storytime. My name is Dr. David Humphrey, and today I'll be reading Mr. and Lady Day, Billie Holiday and the Dog Who Loved Her by Amy Novesky, illustrated by Vanessa Bryant Newton. Billie Holiday loved to sing. As a girl, she sang along to her favorite songs on a borrowed gramophone. She dreamed of being a star. And a star she became, the great Lady Day. But sometimes stars don't feel like shining. They need someone to listen. That's what friends are for. Lady Day's dog were her best friends of all. There were lots of dogs in Lady Day's life. The poodle she carried in her coat pocket and the brown and white beagle. The chihuahuas, Chiquita and Pepe, she fed with a baby bottle. There was the Great Dane named Gypsy and the wired haired terrier Bessie Mae Mucho, who wagged her tail like a metronome. Raja Ravoy, the sad mutt she gave the grandest name, would wander off, but he always found his way home. And then there was a boxer named Mister. Mister and Lady Day were rarely apart. She knit him sweaters and cloaked him in a mink coat. She cooked for him and took him on midnight walks. She sang to him. Mister was Lady's favorite. Someday she'd have a house in the country filled with dogs. Life would be good. Mister would be there. He always was. When Lady performed at glamorous Harlem clubs, Mister sat beside her before the show. Porters brought him plates of thick steak and bowls of water. Later, he stayed with Lady in her dressing room while she pinned flowers in her hair. He kept fans at a polite distance. When it was time for her to sing, Mr. would lead a nervous Lady to the stage and wait for her in the wings. Lady was famous for singing the blues, but the sadness of her songs didn't matter to Mr. As long as he could hear her, he was happy. Then, just when her career was at the top, Lady got into trouble. She had to leave home for a year and a day, and Mr. couldn't come. Lady knew what it was like to be left, and it made her heart sick. She promised Mr. she'd be home soon. But when she looked into his sad eyes, she wasn't sure she'd ever see him again. While Lady was gone, she wrote letters and knit sweaters, but she did not sing. Singing was all about feeling and she didn't feel a thing. When it was finally time to return, she wondered if Mr. would be there. Would he remember her at all? Then there he was. Running down the platform, Mr. leaped on Lady, knocking her down. Someone screamed and everyone scattered. But soon the crowd gathered. It's Billie Holiday. And Lady's homecoming was as bright as a paparazzo's flash bulb. Lady couldn't go home just yet. On the front porch at a friend's farm, she rehearsed. It was time for her to sing again, whether she felt like it or not. In just 10 days, she'd have her biggest show ever at New York City's Carnegie Hall. Lady was afraid. She'd heard the rumor that the great Billie Holiday 
was through. Was it true? On the night of the big show, the concert hall glowed. At midnight, the house lights dimmed and a spotlight as full as the moon appeared. Slowly, Lady walked to center stage. The hall so quiet, you could hear her heels click. Lady trembled. Where was Mr.? Was he waiting in the wings? As the band's notes began, Lady lifted her chin. And when the great Billie Holiday sang, everyone and a dog held their breath and listened. And I'm thinking, if you were mine, I'd never let you go. The end. Hello, students. Now that you've heard and read the story, Mr. and Lady Day, here are some questions you can think about so you can discuss them with your parents and friends. Thinking about these questions help you remember certain parts of the story and also how certain parts of the story made you feel. So here we go. Do you have a talent you want to share with the world like Billie Holiday, otherwise known as Lady Day? What's your tablet? Describe how Mr. made Lady Day feel. Do you have a pet that makes you feel like Mr. made Lady feel? If not, describe or draw your perfect pet. Please share a time in the chat when you were brave like Lady Day. Hi to all of our friends out there. I am Mr. K. Our friends and singers of all ages, we're going to, going to do something very special today. We are going to learn how to scat sing. Scat singing. Now, scat singing is really easy. I'm sure that you've heard it before. Hey! Scat <laughs> oh, Jason! What, what are you doing? What are you doing here? Well, I'm here with all of our friends here. You want to join us? Oh, hey. Yeah, well, sure. I, well, we're going to do that. <laughs> we're going to start scat singing. And. Scat singing is very simple. It's just singing syllables. Some singers call it nonsense syllables. But it's all the open vowels. A, E, I, O, U, A. Ah. Yes. And it's just a lot of fun. So let's try it. I've picked something that you already know. Twinkle, twinkle, little star. Do you know Twinkle, Twinkle, Little Star? I think so. Okay, let's just sing it like we learned it when we were in grade school, right? Okay. First, and then we're going to do something special. Okay, Here we great. go. Twinkle, twinkle, little star, how I wonder what you are, up above the world so high, like a diamond in the sky. Twinkle, twinkle, little star, how I wonder what you are. Now, we're going to take that melody and we're going to swing it and syncopate it. Swing it? Yes, we're going to do it like this. Is that like a swing in the park? A little bit. I bet you know how to do it. Twinkle, twinkle, little star, how I wonder what you are. Up above the world so high Like a diamond in the sky Twinkle, twinkle, little star How I wonder what you are Now we get a chance to scat right. So we're going to use our syllables La, da, di, do, do, ske There's so many options Wow Do you think you can do that with us? I think so Okay, let's I'll, I'll tell you what I'm going to start And why don't you answer me? Do you think you can do that? 
All right, like a call and response. Yeah, like a I'll be, a conversation. Yeah. Okay, I'll try it. Here we go. Do do day dots go to the dow. Scoop it up, pop pull it up. Jeep it up, top pop it up. Ski it up, deal it up, ski me the bow. Pop 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 it do dow. Ski it up, pop do the bow. That was it. You can actually do this. Oh, hey, I didn't know. Who, who knew? Everybody can do this. So let's try it one more time, and then we're going to play it through so all of our singers at home will have a chance to sing along as well without okay. us singing. Okay. okay. Well, you want to try one by yourself? And then I'll just kind of come in a little bit. Sure. Okay, let's try it. Go. Go. Bob skilly bob deedly bow Doop ba la bob skibi dee bow Da ba da ba dee be dee bow Be da ba skilly dee be da ba do bow Skip ba la bop la ba lo pow Skip ba ba deedly bop skilly boo Ready together Woos Ba ba de do de do da Okay, now here's a chance for you at home to sing along by yourselves, and we're gonna count it down right here. A one, two, a one, two, and three. How'd you do? I bet you did a great job. We can do it one more time. Sing it with us. Here we go. A one, a two, a ready and sing. A re bop, a re bop, bo be dee ba. Scoop a dee ba. La ba ba la da. La la, skiddle da, boo da dee da. Bop bop, skiddle da, boo dee wo. Ba ba da ba 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 da da. Oh, Jason, wow. you're a scatter now. <laughs> Scat, how that was, about that? That was a lot of fun. How do you like my hat? Oh, it's wonderful. Oh, great. <laughs> Good stuff. So remember, you two can scat. You can use syllables like la, la, da, da, do, do, ske, ske, dooby, dooby, scooby, scooby, do, do, skato. <laughs> Skedal, Lado, Skedaddle, 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 Skedaddle. Try scatting at home to any song you like. You will love it. Thank you. See you later. See you next time.